what's up everybody welcome back to another video it's been a very difficult few days for us fpl managers but we're going to have a look at my game week 18 first team selection some transfer plans but most importantly we're going to talk about the postponements that we've got going into game week 18 the postponements that we may get going into game week 19 20 21 over christmas the potential gap that we may have and break over christmas that is being rumored and how best to plan our fpl teams because a lot of us are looking at this week thinking we've only got seven eight nine players out should we be taking hits should we be making additional transfers to put out a full 11 full 12 to have a bench or should we just be playing with eight or nine so we'll go into my plans my thinking on this how we can best plan moving forward if you are enjoying all of these videos over christmas of course do leave a like and subscribe to the channel but in terms of how my team is lining up at the moment for game week 18 it lines up as we have at the moment on screen so at the moment i've basically got to put out nine players without making a transfer now you can see down below me that i have one free transfer and exactly 0.0 million in the bank so nothing to play for i have bowen ronaldo and gallagher without a fixture eight nor out injured so I brought eight Nori going into game week 17 now he got injured in the warm-up before Wolves kept a clean sheet so I was very unlucky with that one and then Davies of course doesn't play for Aston Villa so in theory I have five players out and I have a team of nine Ramsdale in goal a back four which I'm still pretty happy with James Cancelo Trent White although they all have an away fixture I do hope for some points from them we got points across the board from these guys going into game week 17 now in the midfield again we've got Salah Bernardo Silva who does have a yellow flag at the moment and Jota and then Ollie Watkins up front now I've been very pleased with a lot of these players and I'm happy with them but of course we have the postponements that we need to make our transfers to make sure we are best prepared for the upcoming game week 18 now I put a poll out on Twitter and it seems like the average person after free transfers will have sort of nine or ten players and whether they take a hit to make the full 11 or they just play with sort of 10 players this week is up to them but don't be worried if you don't have a full 11 going into this week you are not alone a lot of people will be in the same boat what we're going to do is we'll get the official website up as we do in these videos but not just only looking at my potential transfers we'll be looking at the potential fixtures that we've got this week where we should be targeting any potential risks there are going into this weekend but if I look at my team now of course the players that I'd be looking to transfer out potentially Bowen Ronaldo Gallagher, eight Norris and Davies are the five players, of course, that would have to be on the chopping block because they don't have a fixture this week. However, it's very difficult, given that I have exactly 0.0, .0 million in the bank, to do much unless it's a downgrade with some of my players. So I can't upgrade eight Norris. I can't upgrade Davies without doing a transfer elsewhere. So it does look like I'm looking at another minus four going into game week 18. But that being said, let's have a look at how my team could line up with those transfers, some of the fixtures that we've got going into game week 18, 19 on Boxing Day, 20 and 21 into the new year. Just before we do this, I want to have a quick reminder of my December charity fundraiser for you all. All the money that I raise from YouTube in December is going to a charity called Action for Children. Now, whether this is joining as a membership, stream super chats, giving thanks in the sort of comment section down below there is a thanks button where you can donate just watching the videos with ads all of that goes straight to charity as well as 10p for every new subscriber we are currently going to be earning about 200 pounds for charity if you do want to support a bit more then do think about some of these but of course if you just continue to watch and like the videos again that all goes to charity a big thank you to everyone who has signed up as a member already tier one and then tier two tier two we've had some great chat over christmas a lot of planning goes on in that group chat that we have for all our tier two members tier one is a good way just to support charity and support the channel as well and then tier two we have that group chat on twitter where all our tier two members as well as the moderators of the chat get put we've got about 10 people in there including myself discussing all of the upcoming postponements games and everything like that but let's get into my team and some potential transfers now just before we do my transfers let's have a look at what fixtures we do have at the moment going into game week 18 now i am recording at about two o'clock on friday so there is a chance by the time this goes live that there may be less games there may be more postponements but time recording we have five games aston villa burnley leeds arsenal wolves chelsea newcastle man city and then spurs against liverpool we've had five postponements which include leicester against everton manchester united against brighton southampton brentford 
Watford, Crystal Palace and West Ham against Norwich. So none of those teams there just listed will play and we only have 10 teams with a game in game week 18. Now, if we look at teams this week that we may want to target and bring in players for, I think Aston Villa is good. Having a player in the first game means we're almost confident that that game will go ahead and there won't be that late postponement after the deadline like there were a couple in game week 17. So Aston Villa player is definitely worth having the likes of Ollie Watkins, Ramsey in midfield, McGinn, some of their defenders in target and cash, for example. Arsenal again another early game playing against a very depleted lead side the likes of Lacazette, Saka, Smithrow, Odegaard, even Martinelli and then the defence of course worth looking at Chelsea away at Wolves maybe not exactly they haven't been on the best form Manchester City and then of course Liverpool in there Manchester City away at Newcastle definitely a game we want to target the only issue is if we go and target some of these teams and we have two or three players from some of these teams like Arsenal Manchester City if next week for example they then have their fixture cancelled we're then in just as difficult a situation where we suddenly don't have enough players because our three Arsenal players that we needed for this week now don't have a fixture next week so if we look at our fixtures for next week and we we flick to next week. Arsenal do have a fixture against Norwich and Norwich are one of the teams that do have a potential COVID outbreak which again is a bit of concern for us however I do think the teams that we want to be looking to target this week are definitely Arsenal and definitely Manchester City so let's get my team up and have a look at how we could transfer some of those in. Now I've got my team up here now I don't know why the formatting has gone slightly weird I cannot fix it but I think there are two players that I really would probably consider transferring out. Now I held Ronaldo but looking at this week I do think that selling Ronaldo going over this Christmas period is probably a good thing to do. It will really allow me to strengthen my bench. If I do that, it will allow me to have money in the bank for the future weeks where I can maybe just make one transfer, which can be a massive upgrade if I need it to. Because right now I'm really strapped for cash, which makes transfers and planning ahead for these blank game weeks really difficult. So I do think Ronaldo probably needs to go. And then I look elsewhere at the matches that have been cancelled. It could be Davies, but there aren't enough forwards right now that I'd want to bring in because the likes of Watford and Brighton don't have a fixture this week. So some of those cheap forwards along with Southampton don't have a fixture this week. So I don't have many replacements for Davies. So then I look into my midfield and Bowen I still really like. I could transfer out eight Nori for another defender or Gallagher. So I do think Ronaldo is a downgrade and then either Gallagher out or eight Nori are probably the two transfers that I'm looking to make this week. In terms of Ronaldo replacement, with Aubameyang out of the Arsenal team, I do think Lacazette is probably the player I'm going to look to target here. Yes, he missed a penalty this week, but he also did pick up an assist. He did score in game week 16 as well. There is a nice run of fixtures. Leeds, Norwich, Wolves all in the next three. They then do play Manchester City, Tottenham, but I can then look at the likes of Calvert-Lewin coming back to fitness and once they have a really nice run of fixtures. So over the next three, I'm looking short term because of all these COVID outbreaks. I do like the look of Lacazette. Now, this would leave me a lot of money in the bank. I could upgrade eight Nori. I could upgrade Gallagher as my other potential move this week. If I went in midfield, I'm pretty sure it would be Foden that comes in. Give me a Manchester City triple up. Foden looks so good going into game week 17. He got one goal and one assist. So a lot of points there. He's looked really good. He is carrying a slight knock. I've been so unlucky with my Manchester City midfielders so far this season. But Foden is definitely one that I think once he's fit, once he's playing every week, either through the centre or out wide, has the potential to be a really good pick for us. And then in defence, there's a few players that I could go with if I don't go to Foden. I could double up on a Manchester City defence. I could get Marcus Alonso in here. I could go and double up on Manchester City defence if I go and get Foden. I could go for an Aston Villa defender in here as well at home to Burnley. So I think Ronaldo down to Lacazette and then either Gallagher to Foden or Aitnori to one of probably Matty Cash or the double Manchester City defender would be the way that I'd go but it's so up in the air I am going to wait all the way up until that deadline at half past one tomorrow now the deadline has been pushed back on Saturday because the early kickoff was cancelled so do wait as long as you can do not worry about price changes wait as long as we can for as much information before making your transfers I know it's very difficult I know it can be very disheartening looking at our teams now there's so much going on. There's so many changing things. That means we don't have enough players. Some of the players you really want now don't have a fixture. Do your best to just be putting out 10, 11 players every week and you are still ahead of the curve. Putting out an extra player, if you think that player you're bringing in is good for the long term, is worth a hit. That is the philosophy that I'm going with. Trying to put out 11 players every week as best I can. 
Good luck in game week 18. There will be a live stream as well before the deadline where I can answer all your questions live. If you don't want to join the live stream, please drop it in the comments down below or message me over on Twitter. As well, as I mentioned, think about supporting charity as we go into Christmas. So many people don't have maybe what we have going into Christmas. So do think about, as I spoke about during the video, how you can support a great charity like Action for Children over Christmas. But if I don't see you before now and then, good luck in game week 18 and have a very Merry Christmas as well. But for those of you who will join the live stream or will watch my videos next week, I'll see you all again very soon. Thank <laughs> you.